It's been a tremendous, I think, um, partnership between East Campus and you know the turf grass science people that are there, and the College of Agriculture, and and the people that are here. For Troy to come in and for Coach Rule to be thinking about regrassing the practice fields, it opens up a door for us to go back and reinvigorate the turf grass science program. I so appreciate Troy and athletics really opening up our amazing athletic platforms to inform our teaching, our learning, and our outreach. We're seeing a lot more facilities and places that are going into that because of the changes in technology and genetics with Bermuda grass. Research and the turf programs are, are a massive asset to any athletic program in any university with what they can provide for resources and knowledge. Having a specialized person like Amanda on, on their staff, uh, having her, you know, give her input is very important. And you got more management you got to do with Bermuda grass. Preparing so the research started when um, they were considering doing a different grass last year in 2024. Actually one full year since we had this installed. So we're seeing how the reaction of the cultural practices that have to be done. Bermuda grass is very different than other cool season grasses because it loves the growth because of its rhizomes and stolons to take over so it has more of that stronger canopy and also to see how it held up with the weather that we had this past year. The warm season grasses like Bermuda for all the three called fires do very well with drought conditions. So it's more to see what happens with the first year culture practices we'll do between the uh, traffics that we had from year one to year two. It's a no-brainer for us to be involved in this partnership as we're a land-grant university with extension and have a turf grass program that's still growing every year and uh, it's a big opportunity for us. We officially broke ground here on March 10th. They removed, basically you have your sod layers, took that off. Then below that you have your sand base, took all that out. And then below that we have our drainage and gravel layer, which was all removed. Aside from the field itself, they're rebuilding the east perimeter fence. So there's been concrete work going on. There's been rebar work going on, just kind of some exterior work, because that has to all be done before you can kind of rebuild that profile. We're basically taking everything out all the way down, approximately three foot, starting over and rebuilding back up. The one thing that's fortunate about this work that we're doing right now over here at the practice fields is uh, we're having a USGA based sand root zone. This is something that's a bit of a missing piece. When you have a, you want a good athletic field surface, it's not just the grass that's a big factor, it's also underneath. We're going to have a lot of new things out here that, that are going to benefit us in the long run that we've never had before. And just the ability to redo the drainage and to have brand new irrigation based off of decisions we've made and, and things that we're putting together, that's what we anticipate is to have a high level athletic performance field. One of the greatest things is being around at such a high level and such a high standard and, and being a part of the day-to-day -day operations, you know, being able to make decisions and put the work, you know, into the fields. A very enjoyable for me being that, you know, I'm originally from here, you know, I kind of grew up in this environment. Uh, I grew up, you know, a Nebraska fan. You know, the goal is to make sure that all the athletic fields, all the facilities here are top notch. They're at a high standard and one of our biggest priorities is player safety and, and safety on the fields. Uh, I'm so excited that our turf grass science program has a chance to be a national leader. Hope that our know-how helps lead to uh, more Husker victories. <laughs>